Let's bring in our cybersecurity expert today, Attorney Lisa Garber. First of all, Lisa, this is uh, really this sounds like something out of a movie script. Uh, how did this happen? Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here today. And this is a really interesting one. Ransomware is really taking off as a method of attack for hackers. And basically what happens is it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a new form, taking an old form of criminal activity, holding something for ransom and moving it online. So basically they are holding your computer, your system, or your data hostage. They're going to encrypt it. And the only way you can gain access again is to pay them a certain amount of money. It actually started out being a target for individuals. They'd say, mm -hmm. pay us $500 in Bitcoin, $1,000. They were kind of one-off hits. And now they're starting to target public institutions. They're targeting colleges especially. And this is definitely becoming a larger and larger problem. Well, we've seen hackers do things like this to Sony, for example. If you don't give us this money, we're going to release all this information. We've seen uh, in banking institutions hacked. It's so unusual that they would target, but you say it's not. What, what can be done? I mean, you think about a university education is concerned about making sure that the students they have in their, in their care are getting educated and taking care of all the concerns on campus, but something like this is well outside of their norm. Exactly. And the part of the problem is a lot of these colleges and universities have such a large database of private and confidential information, albeit on their students or professors. They might have health information. You never know. So hackers are definitely targeting these types of institutions. And unfortunately, many of them notoriously have bad security for their digital assets. And hackers are going after them for this reason. It's important to understand what's at stake. Either they want the ransom or they want to sell it on the dark net. Oh, that dark net, that dark yes. web, I tell you. Yes. Uh, all right, you, you think we're going to hear more of this kind of thing? We are definitely going to hear more, and my best piece of advice is be proactive. Once you've been hit with ransomware, it's going to be very difficult to actually engage with that person. Generally, experts suggest to not pay it, but if you can afford to not pay it, you have to have your data backed up somewhere. I always recommend mm -hmm. back up your data every day if possible. For larger institutions, that's very difficult and expensive. So in addition, you want to invest in security software. You want to have ad blockers and really train your employees on not clicking on spam links, not clicking uh -huh. on those phishing emails. That's the biggest 